All right, here we go. New slime opening, and this time apparently I can't watch the visuals. Let's get it. Season one content, season three content. Yo, what is the visuals here? It, it's 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 not bad. No, no, I I it's not CGI either. It's like I don't know how to describe it. The design is completely different. Mjolnir getting some. Why is Mjolnir getting so much screen time here? What? Dude, he showed up like three separate times. He's beside Rimuru. He what? Is he that important? What's going on here, sir? Oh, it's the letters that we sent. Oh, Elf Queen, right? So this is the dad, and this is the mother of Eden, right? Min. Yo, yo, what was that? What was that? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Two dragons showed up. Three separate drag. Four. One, two, three, four. Are, are these true dragons? Are, are, are any of these true dragons? I'm not sure. Gonzo, more nobles? Yo, even in the opening, Grusius gets cucked. You gotta respect the hustle at this point. And it seems like there's a new Shota also competing in line. I don't know. Underneath the labyrinth? So not only are we building a Colosseum, but it looks like this is like an underground place that Ramers creates. And it's looking like a Tenkaichi Budokai arena, right? Look at the floor. Ship Wars! So we know Benny and Albus is a thing. I, I, we haven't seen this new girl just yet, I don't think. But right here, these two, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. Stefan Yaki Veldera. <laughs> Mario Bill showed up too. Can we convince her that we're not bad? She's eating the food. Maybe she's gonna be like, shit. Maybe they ain't so bad after all. Maria Bell, let this be known. Maria Bell of Greed and Gobzo is in the same frame. You guys are looking down on the power scaling of my man Gobzo. You don't know anything, bro. Gobzo is the one to take down the Roto family. What else is happening in the background? I don't know. There's a bunch of other shit going on here. Is there any other characters we know here? Anything else? There's Maria Bell here. This is the idiot trio. This is- Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa! Yo! Movie! We just saw- We- we- we just watched the, uh... What's the movie? The, the, uh... Not Visions of Coleus. Not Visions of Coleus, but, uh... Look at this. Look at this right here. You see that shit? You see that shit? Zoom in a little bit more. Scarlet Bond, that's right her. That's her right there. Uh, that's- that's- that, that's- that's- that's the girl. That's- that Toa. Yeah, 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 that, that's the fucking Toa. That's, yo, is Hito here then? If Toa shows up, that means that, like, if Hito doesn't show up, that's fucking stupid. Like, like, if, if, if <laughs> Hito has to show up. For some reason, like, like plot-wise, they've never shown up even though they could have. But, like, if Hito doesn't show up here, it's, oh, what, he's fucking guarding the fucking place back up? Like, come on. Fucking come on, bro. I don't, I don't fucking know. Is, is there anyone else? Cabal carrying boxes? Is there anyone else here? Um, I think that on the right side, this is the princess, right? On the right, is this Visions of Coleus movie? What, what is it? Is this Visions of Coleus? Play one more second, what's gonna happen? Ah! Oh! There's Hito. Okay, okay, okay. Right there. Maria Bell. Okay, okay, okay. Maria Bell, Hito, Toa. We got Visions of Coleus people here as well. Um, I don't really recognize more other people behind the scenes. Um, the left side, uh, I don't know. On the left side, it, they seem to be wearing special clothing, but I think that's pretty much all the Easter eggs that I can find out. That's pretty much it. Paolo? Oh, tournament arc! That's right, tournament arc! Oh, yo, who's the tournament lineup? So... Holy shit! Holy shit! Look who it is! Look who it is! My man got done dirty in Konosuba finale and didn't have a time to shine. Who is that? Who is that? Huh? Who, who, who is that, huh? <laughs> Wait, just let me pull this up. Does he look familiar? 
<laughs> what the? What the fucking? <laughs> Certain somebody. <laughs> That's him, bro. Dude, that's him, bro. Bro, bro, bro got kicked out of Konosuba. Made it into a fucking different Isekai show. The Mohawk verse. But memes aside, who are some of the other prominent figures here? Um, this horse and Minotaur, I don't think it's important. Um, this red haired dude seems pretty fucking OP. I'm pretty sure the guy in the blonde here is Masayuki, based on the trailer. Um, don't know, and we have Gopta and Gil looking menacing as all fuck. Yo, I hope Gopta pops off. I hope Gopta pops the fuck off in the tournament. Okay, let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why can't I recognize him? He looks familiar, but he's not. He's not Veldora. No, no, no. This is- Is this Masayuki, actually? Was I baited by the trailer? Hold the fuck up! Wait, I thought Masayuki was a timid boy. I don't know. I, I, I don't. I don't know. I hate this. I hate this. This fucking rat should not be in the same fucking picture with our kids and Hinata. I hate this. No redemption for Yuki. No. No. And the final pose, and this is probably the worst opening reaction ever for people that actually wants to hear the opening. I'm just fucking obsessing over the, you know, the fucking frame by frame, doing a play by play analysis because that's what I honestly excel more at. So fuck you, you can go watch some other people's reactions, but Adalma made it in. Adalma made it into the family picture. Ramirez is here, Milim's here, everybody's here, Beretta, Gail, yeah, Gopta. Gopta should be here. Honestly, I prefer this way more than first opening. Listen, I'm not gonna sit here because like we ended, we started season three by ending season two and we had like the most hype opening. Like, was it let me end like flames or something, right? That shit was hype. And then you give me season three opening, which is not the same kind of like beat or tone. And I was like, eh, it's all right. It's not bad. It's not right. But this one, it's like, all right. All right, the artistic style, the visuals overall was pretty good. Even hinting, like the opening literally tells the story of this season of the different invitations that was going out, people getting excited for the festival, different people at different junctures. It was pretty good. Little Easter eggs here and there too, but it was pretty good. New ending time, let's go! Rimuru sleeping with... No, that's his Milim. This is Rimuru. Oh, this is like a futuristic kind of concept where Milim sleeps with like Rimuru merch and stuff like that. Rimuru pillows? I think that's a Milim. Wait a minute. Is this? This ain't Milim. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is this is not Milim at all. It's Shuna. Okay, it's Shuna. Completely different art style. I have new who I have no idea who Mindarin is. <laughs> What's she gonna do with the horns, bro? Just fucking poke it through the fucking hat. Shield to the laptop! Casual Shuna, man. Bait episode! Nilla's there! Gopta! Yo, you got Gopta, Benny, Ranga, Rimuru, Geld, Go Gabiru, fucking Soe. Kurube nowhere to be found. Free Veldoras, bro. What's a free Veldora? Free Veldora. I get it, I get it. He's sealed up here. He's locked up. What a nice day off for Shuna. Just woke up, ate some good food, and is now chilling. That was a pretty good ending. The art style is totally different from what we're used to. It's like a futuristic life of what, you know, a slice of life in the modern world for, you know, slime characters would be. And it would be really cool if they had, like, separate characters for different endings every time. And maybe because they are, you know, Mahoka doesn't exist anymore after next week, maybe they're gonna fucking commit to, you know, new endings.